Welcome to Haunted Party Time, a strategy game built with Confluence, our social physics game framework, which uses Ensemble Engine and extends its capabilities. So here we have the entire picture of our game's framework. It starts with a social schema, which defines the desires, actions, and social rules that the characters follow. This is loaded into the data visualization graphs, where players can see the social state of the game at any moment, and the ensemble engine, which processes the, the social interactions. The game runs in the Unity web player, and it uses a middle layer to communicate with ensemble. Also, the social schema is loaded into the Monte Carlo 3 search bot, which is, which is used for analyzing win and lose scenarios and improve gameplay. One of the challenges that Ensemble Engine brings is the creation of the schema, because this has to be defined in multiple JSON files manually, so this does not scale. Um, the way we solve this is creating an authoring tool that autom automates and simplifies the generation of these rules. In the data visualization graphs, the players can see the social state of the game at any moment. This updates as the player plays the game, and they reflect the changes that happen through the game in the characters. These are made of an overview of the mood and traits of each character, the attitude that they have towards the other characters, and the relationships that the characters have with each other. Since there is a complex social environment happening in the game, it is challenging for the developers to make good the scenarios that are winnable at all and that have a moderate difficulty. That's why we have a Monte Carlo 3 search bot that analyzes these scenarios for us. It also can be used for the players to recommend the next move or actually show the entire winning path. To show the most of our framework, we decided to keep the game concept as simple as possible so that the social environment is what makes the game enjoyable. Here, the characters add a day party, and the objective is to make them leap. For that, you have to possess the other characters and make, make them perform diff This is a strategy game, since there is a, a limited number of actions that you can take to achieve the game's goal. The key for this is to use the visualization graphs to exploit the character's personality and make them perform actions that will affect them the most. For example, if a character is happy, insulting them will not be too effective. But if a character is timid, trying to make them dance will be more effective than usual. And the characters sleep once they reach the top of, the, of one of their moods. For example, if they are too embarrassed about something or if they are too angry about something, they will leave. Also, there are different objects across the board that you can pick up and this enables new actions in the characters. For example, the character in the screen has just picked up a gun, and now he can threat people with the gun. Every time you perform an action, there is a set of effects that happen in the action between the one who performed it and the one who received it. And you can see all the effects from the action in the small box right in the middle to the left of the game. Those are the ones that have the small emojis, so you can see what effects specifically the actions are causing in the characters. Also, the relationship between the characters also influences the game, so that you can exploit different actions and the characters will react differently depending if they are siblings or friends or enemies or any other relationship. As you perform different actions, the visualization graph will also update every time that you perform an action and they will show the updated state of the game and in the attitude tab you will be able to see in the dotted lines that the attitude that has been affected by the action. 